Hello dear witches, this is Leticia here and today we are going to do episode 2 on our Recycling CDs to our Magic series. We are going to use old CDs to make an altar pentacle, a sensor, a well of the year and a mini crystal grid. Last time we did this beautiful sun catcher and today by requests made on my website we are going to do this beautiful altar pentacle. But I'll start this video asking you to leave a thumbs up if you like recycling magical projects and to share this video with your family and friends if you really like it because you already know it helps the growth of this channel. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, consider becoming one. This is totally free. Let's do our project! So this is episode 2 on the recycling old cities and I am really happy you're engaged to this because we must learn how to recycle things and to give it another purpose than the garbage, right? So in this episode we'll make this great altar pentacle for you to keep it in your altar and do your magic rituals with it. To do this we'll need old CDs, a strong tape like duct tape, scissors to scratch the CD and to be able to remove the data coating. Your design, mine is a simple style, but you can find all kinds of beautiful pentacles over the internet. But if you want this specific design, it is on my Patreon page, okay? Link is in the description of the video. Alcohol inks or any alcohol markers even sharps can do it. Water-based varnish to give it a beautiful finish. White felt to put behind your pentacle. This will prevent scratches and it will give extra protection to it. And fabric silicone glue. As usual, all the materials will be listed in the description below the video. And if you want to buy them over Amazon, I am saving you some research time, giving you affiliate links. You can easily have the materials and help me a bit without changing your final price. To start, we'll clean our CD, removing the data coating on it. Don't force it on the CD, because we don't want the scratches to be deep. We'll use the scissors to scratch it lightly. Basically the same way we did last episode, but from my experience, it will be a bit harder to take out the coating of an industrial CD, a music CD or a band, something like that, because this is a special paint they use to protect the CD and to protect the data. But bear with me, you can do it because I did, right? Once it's over, your CD is crystal clear and you can wash it with water and soap. But once again, I'm warning you to please don't use any abrasive materials like acetone. You can burn the plastic and turn your CD opaque. Now for the fun. You will draw your design with the alcohol markers and then we'll fill the empty spaces with the alcohol inks. While I'm doing this, I thought it would be nice to know a little history on the altar pentacles. Will you follow me? You can see that this is kind of a pattern here. <laughs> First, we'll dig into the differences of the pentacle and the pentagram. A pentagram is the five-pointed star. The name pentagram derives from the Greek pentagramos, and its first appearance can be traced back to ancient Greece and Sumerian people, but the date is not accurate. But they say it's something like 31st century BC. The pentagram is a regular polygon that is special to geometry because it's equiangular and equilateral, meaning that the internal angles that form the stars are equal and all the sides forming it has the same length. For the ancient mathematicians, it was also very special because of its rotational symmetry or the fact that it keeps its form even when partially rotated and it's also the circumscribed circle or the perfect circle it forms when we pass through all the vertices from the five-point star. It also has a golden ratio, not to mention some other early interesting math properties. It has great meaning for sacred geometry as well. If you want to study it, I will leave a link to a Wikipedia page where I find all of it, okay? And what about the pentacle? 
A pentacle is the pentagram surrounded by a circle. Its ancient design goes back to the origin of Sumerian and ancient Greek cultures. For the Greeks, it represents the creation of the cosmos. The five points inside the circle are the five places where Kronos saw at Gaia so the cosmos would exist. During the early Middle Ages, it was still used in a good sense by Christians who believed it represented the five wounds of Christ, the five wounds Jesus suffered during the crucifixion. It was still largely used by pagans and the church started to relate it to demons. By the end of the Middle Ages, its use was converted to an evil one and for a while it disappeared. During the Renaissance, the pentacle appeared once again, being famous in the drawings of Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa and his book, The Occulta Philosophia, and had it related to astrology, a science back in the days. It would become again a trend during the 60s with Gerald Gardner and the Born of Wicca. For lots of neo-pagans, the pentacle have great meaning due to the various representations that the symbol has. It can represent the elements, including ether or spirit, or the circle of manifestations, man or woman, with each point in the star representing our figure. Like back to Cornelius Agrippa drawing, the divine feminine can be also seen in the pentacle, and the circle being a womb, and so on. For me, it represents the cosmos and our divine form. I use it during rituals when I place the instruments I want to consecrate over the pentacle. And for you, leave a comment down below telling me how you use the pentacle in your craft, what it represents to you. I would love to know more ways to use it and other representations as well. But <laughs> again, a lot of talking, so let's go back to our crafting. By now, your pentacle would be looking like this. And after we completed our coloring time, we'll varnish the CD. Give time so it can dry well and varnish the other side too. Finally, we'll have to glue the felt on the back of our design. You can use your imagination and be creative if you want to embellish your pentacle. But I'll keep this one simple so I can give a chance for one of you, my viewers, to finish when you have it because guess what? This pentacle is part of all my giveaway. We are almost there, 250 people following this channel. It's so good, I'm feeling so very happy. If you don't know already about the giveaway, go check the card up in the video. All the information is there for you. I hope you enjoyed doing this craft with me and that the magic of the pentacle can create a beautiful time in your magical circle. And don't forget, in our next videos, we'll have some more fun recycling old CDs. What we'll do next? Let me know it in the comments. Which one would you like to see first? If you like the content of my channel and would like to know my early and extra content, Patreon is the place you have it all. I'm also over Instagram, where you can see other things like my journals, grimoires, and book of shadows. But if you would like to read, you can go to my website and join the mailing list, receiving all my content directly to your mail. I thank you all for being here with me until now, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!